for the past 10 years, man. They not going to go out like no suckers. They going to come out and play hard. I also believe the Giants going to bring it. Hey, we all know how the Giants stepped up, you know. It's they, they, this they time of the season, but uh, the boys are running behind Harbaugh right now. They believe in him, and he got him motivated, and I believe Harbaugh got something up his sleeve. Yeah, all right. Well, I got the Giants winning this game. I think your score is very accurate. I think the winning team's probably going to have about 24 points. I don't think it's going to be much more than that. Uh, I think the two defenses are going to basically control this game. I think whether Eli Manning or Alex Smith – uh, has a big turnover may be a big part of the turnout of this game uh, at the end I think the winning team probably wins by a field goal touchdown at the most uh, which is the way it turned out the first time they played earlier this season what I'd like to do if you're able is at the end of this game next week if you're able to call in when we're going over this game feel free to call us up uh, give us your analysis win or lose you know, because if we lose this game, New York Football Giants lose this game, I'm going to have to come in here and sit for two hours and talk. So you can come in and call us for five minutes. But if y'all lose, what do you think? Oh, I'm calling. I'm calling in. Believe that. Hey, Corey, trust me. When he calls in, he's going to be at least, well, we got this far. He will be like that. No. You don't think no, so? No. You don't no. think so? You've been around me for 15 years. You know me. You know me well enough to know. That, that you're a homer. I, I am absolutely a homer, but I'm also that guy that's going to be honest. And if my team goes out to San Francisco and stinks up the gym to use a basketball reference, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to absolutely hammer them. Now, if they go out there and they lose a tough game and the 49ers just beat them, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to say the 49ers just beat them. Okay. And, and Big Rube can speak to this because when the Washington Redskins beat the Giants twice this season. Twice. Twice this season. Be honest, Big Rube, what did I do? You came here, ate crow, and dealt with it. There it is. And we, look, the podcast will be on YouTube by the end of the week. So we will have hey, this on tape. Yes, sir. Hey, hey Mark, you, hey, I'm, I'm going to keep it honest with you. Keep it real with you. You know what? If it wasn't for the Niners in there, you know I'd be rooting for the home team. I, I know you will, man. Hey, look, I appreciate you calling in. Uh, I appreciate you doing this segment with us. Much love to you down there in the ATL. We're going to talk to you next week, win or lose, bro. Good luck that's with right, your team. That's right. Good thank luck with your thank team. brothers for having me over there. All right, man. Good luck with your team, man. Peace. All right, peace. All right. We're getting ready to go into our next segment, uh, going into – a uh, little bit of basketball. We're going to try to change it up a little bit. So, coming up at the end of this segment, we're going to have your man K Dub. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the NBA and all the things that's going on. And from there, we're going to switch speeds and go away from sports and go into some social stuff. So, got your man Marcus J. Big Ruby. And you got Carlton Banks. Ain't no half step. And we'll be back in about two minutes. Sublime. It's enjoyable to know you.